Greetings, true believers. Joel Pass, Spider-Man. Hey guys, KJ here. Uh, got a lot to talk about today, so I'm gonna get right to it. Um, so yesterday I did shave with the uh, Beehive Shave Soap. Um, first of all, I was so impressed with it um, that I went ahead and placed an order um, right away to get the uh, Lime Margarita scent. Um, the other scents they have is the, uh, the Crisp Alpine Stream. Um, the sandalwood and bay rum. Um, so I also sent uh, Tammy an email um, along with my order, uh, just kind of explaining, hey, heard about your soap on TSC, um, really impressed with it, um, wanted to place this order, and um, expressed a minor concern about scents, um, just that I would like to see more scents. Um, and that uh, the one complaint that I had was about the labels. Um, so first of all, uh, I fixed my labels um, by taking just some clear packing tape and putting over uh, the top and the side labels. Perfect. Um, so it's not, well, it doesn't look perfect, but it'll do and it'll keep the water off of them. Um, so I know in Chad's video, he mentioned doing something similar, although he mentioned using masking tape Chad, masking tape, you're gonna cover up your labels? I know it's just a brain fart, but I had to poke fun at you for that one. Um, anyways, so uh, I just wanted to say that uh, Tammy was very uh, responsive uh, to the emails and appreciated the um, feedback. Uh, and I wanted to read uh, a couple of the emails. Uh, we had a little bit of back and forth. And so I wanted to read some of the comments that she had to share uh, with you guys in case you were curious. So in regard to the label, she said, as production increases, I will be changing to more durable labels and says that I've already switched to labels for some of her other products. Um, as far as scents, she said she's experimented with peppermint and she's kind of waiting for demand to increase on the soaps before she goes into new and other fragrances. So if you want to see some more fragrances from Beehive, go play some orders and buy some more soap. Um, so... Uh, I also, in that initial email, I said, hey, I just posted uh, a video review uh, of my first use with your soap on the TSC and gave her the link and said, you know, if you want, go watch it. So she did. And then based off of that, she responded back to me, thanked me for posting the video and uh, responded to some of the things that I had mentioned in the video. Um, so in, in regard to my, uh, little qualm about the, uh, shaving cream soap, she explained why she named it shaving cream soap. So she says, when I formulate a soap bar, I use sodium hydroxide. When I formulate a liquid soap, I use potassium hydroxide. When I formulate a cream soap, I use both sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. That's why it's labeled a cream soap. Um, which makes sense. Um, she said, that said, I see how it can be confusing. She said, filling the jars, it's definitely creaming, creamy as it cools, it sets up. Um, so that answers that. And then also, uh, in regard to my, uh, talk about the scent descriptions and not knowing exactly what the Creed scent was supposed to s s smell like, um, uh, if I can talk, uh, she, she reads me her description from her vendor from who she gets the fragrance from. Um, sexy, a fresh riveting fusion of citrus, green tea, black currant, and a whole lot of other high-end perfumery stuff that turns 98-pound weaklings into high-born European chick magnets. Sounds like a winner to me. Um, so just thinking back to the scent, I mean... It, it's it's all really well blended, so I, I don't know that I would get any of those notes from it individually. Um, but something that's blended really good, you're not going to sense the notes individually necessarily unless they're meant to come out. And I think all those ones are meant to just blend and just make something that's really good. Um, okay, so that is that for Beehive Soap. So go check them out. Uh, really, really good soaps. Really looking forward to trying the the lime margarita on that one. Um, and it was, I only bought one jar, and so even with shipping, it was like twenty four dollars for a six ounce jar, which is four dollars an ounce for soap. So that's that's a pretty good price for such a really good performing soap. Um, okay, what's next? Um, so Dave in Kentucky uh, posted yesterday 
that there was a sale at Groomatorium. Um, so I'm like, okay, we'll go check it out and see what they got. Holy cow. A um, couple things that I was interested in was uh, Mirasol aftershaves. Um, I picked up the uh, Aqua Balsamica. And I also got a rum hair tonic uh, from them. I've been wanting to try their, their hair tonics for a while. Uh, so really good deals on that. Also, they had a good deal on tallow and steel soaps. Um, so I picked up three tallow and steel soaps. Um, now, I got two samples from Chad in his piff box. Um, so the Morocco and the West Indies. So just off of my initial smell of them, uh, wasn't sure what I thought of the Morocco, kind of dug the West Indies. So I went ahead through the West Indies in my shopping cart. I also bought Maya and uh, Madagascar, which Madagascar is one of the new scents, the new formula. So uh, looking forward to trying that one out. Um, so when I get my West, so I won't be using this sample from Chad um, because I'm getting a full puck uh, or a full tub of it. Uh, so when I do get it, I'm going to top off this sample and get, put this back in the piff box. Uh, so someone else is going to try that one. The Morocco is what I'll be using today. Uh, I, I'm familiar with the performance already because I do have the Borneo or Boreal. Boreal. Um, so I'm already familiar with the performance of the soap. Um, it's really good. I do enjoy it, but I do want to try this scent. Um, now, Scent-wise, it didn't grab me from, from the beginning. For some reason, I don't know why, it just... I, I, when I initially smelled them, I'm like, eh, I don't know. So it's got cypress... I'm not smelling these, I'm reading these. Uh, cypress, cedar, oak, mar, oak moss, cade, and rose. Um, I don't get anything necessarily rosy out of it, which is good, because I don't like strong rose scents. Um, I'm definitely getting smokiness uh, from the Cade. Um, I guess I'm getting some cedar cypress in there, maybe the oak moss a little bit. Um, but now that I'm smelling this, and now that I'm kind of, now that I know what notes are playing and can kind of pick them out, I'm really digging this. So I think I might have to pick up the Morocco at some point as well. Um, especially the Cade. I think maybe the smokiness of the Cade is what like struck me at the beginning and, and wasn't really sure what I thought about it, but I really do like it now. So that's what I'll be using today for my shave. Um, so what I did, uh, I hate samples, uh, just lathering from them and never know what to do. So what I figured out to do works best for me is uh, I scooped out about, mm, not quite even half of this jar. Um, the, the prob my problem with samples is you never know how much to use. You don't, you wanna be stingy because you wanna save the sample. So if you're using it up, you get as many uses as you can. Or if you're gonna pass it, you wanna make sure that the next guy and maybe the next guy after that has enough to use. Um, but, um, so I never know how much to scoop out. So I always wanna err on the side of, I took a little bit too much because you wanna make sure that your brush gets loaded enough uh, when you do. So what I do is I take a, uh, my lathering bowl. Um, now this is a one that I, um, I love because it's shallow and works really well for uh, samples. Um, and I'll just smear the sample into the bottom of it um, so that it approximates the size of a full tub or a full puck of soap. So that way, when I go at it with my brush, loading it as far as surface area wise, it's about the same. So I know that if I'm doing a 15 to 20 second load, it's about the same amount of soap that I'm gonna pick up from a 15 to 20 second load off of a puck. It's not gonna be exactly the same, so I'm probably gonna err on the side of loading a little bit longer, making sure that I get enough soap uh, to do an adequate review. Um, this stuff just smells really, really good. Um, so one thing that I forgot to talk about before I get to the actual shave, um, you may have noticed that these videos are getting put up pretty late. Um, well, that is because I'm on vacation. Um, I get my kids four weeks during the summer, two weeks in July, two weeks in June. Uh, so right now I've got my kids. Um, so I've been off of work this week and I'm off of work next week. So that's why I've been sleeping in and my videos have been a little bit later. Um, but we are going to the lake this weekend. Uh, we're gonna leave Friday night 
and probably come back Monday afternoon uh, and spend all weekend at the lake. So I will be doing some outdoor camping shaves um, just for fun because the scenery is lovely down there. Um, and we'll try some uh, <clears throat> rustic shaves for you, even though there is a bathroom there, but what the heck, I'm gonna try a camping shave. Um, so that's coming up for you. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the shave. Um, like I said, I'm, I've used this soap before, so this isn't really a, a review necessarily. Um, definitely gonna try to get through it as quick as I can because I've used up quite a bit of time just talking to you. Which is good, I like talking to you. So I had a little bit of a wet brush when I went to the puck, so kind of foamed up and got a little airy right at the beginning. I'm gonna have to work this in. I didn't mean for it to be that wet. It makes it harder to face lather because now I'm just kind of bowl lathering it. I just dripped lather on my foot. I didn't do this lather any justice at all. Uh, way too wet. And I don't want to spend the time to bring it back. But this isn't a review because I already know the performance and the performance is great. So I'm not terribly worried about it. mentioned before that I've done something kind of weird in my shaves. One of y'all figured it out. I don't remember who. Um, but yeah, when I do my across the grain pass, I swipe straight across and get my upper lip and bottom lip at the same time. I have no idea why I do it that way. Not like I set out to do it that way. It's just kind of the way it developed. Um, but I, I was like, I'm surprised no one has, has mentioned it. And some people are like, well, the way people shave is the way people shave. And don't really feel like pointing out anything, which I get. But I mean, my videos, they're meant to cause discussion. So if you see something, I don't mind comment about it. Or if I say something, um, and you're like, hey, I have a thought on that, comment. Like uh, yesterday, one of my big things was uh, residual slickness. And uh, talking about my definition and how it might be different from other people's definitions. Watch. Top and bottom, same time. Weird, just weird. Um, and saying, hey, maybe my definition's wrong, I don't know. So, I mean, I, w I wanted that to spur a discussion. Like, what, what is your definition of residual slickness? How do you measure it? Is it the slickness that's left on your face when you're done shaving before you put any water? Or is it still considered residual slickness if you throw water on your face? I mean, I don't know. I always just assumed it was what was left. But, see, uh, my face is plenty slick right now. There's no dryingness at all. I'm gonna, I can go ahead and do another pass or a touch up. This one did not dry out on my face. Um, like Beehive did. So to me, that is the perfect example of residual slickness. Uh, and maybe I just didn't have enough water in the leather yesterday to keep it from drying out. Could be. Um, 
Okay, so it is starting to dry out on this side. It's getting a little sticky, so I do need to add some water here, but uh, initially there was residual slickness. So, I don't know, what are your thoughts? What defines residual slickness for you? I'm really curious, because maybe my definition's wrong, I don't know. All right, so I think I did that shave in about five minutes from the start of making the lather until I'm done. So you don't have to spend all morning in the bathroom. It can be quick. You don't need to be in a hurry and say, oh, I'm going to use the Mach 3 because I need a quick shave. What? I'm done in five minutes. That's a quick shave. Um, so, what I'm going to follow with that up with. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I want something kind of light. Let's just do this. Uh, so this is my own concoction. Um, and it's just a mix of, uh, high menthol products. So there's, there's no scent here. There's... Osage Rub, and there's uh, Superior 70 Mentolipto, and there's uh, Stevens Alpine in here. So they're all just high menthol uh, face rubs, so no scent. So this is going to be ultra cooling, uh, but it's not going to have any lasting scent because I'm going to go to my colognes um, and discuss the colognes. Um, and I skipped Witch Hazel, but oh well. I'm kind of rushing this one anyways. Um, so there we go. Looking for the bottle, I couldn't find it. Um, so yesterday, uh, I mentioned that I used the Blue Sugar. Um, it was a really good fragrance, I liked it a lot. Um, after doing some research, it is a clone of Blue Sugar Man by Aqualina. Um, so it was one that I'd never heard of, but it's an existing uh, cologne house. I think maybe that one, the, the men version, is discontinued. Um, so <clears throat> there's no way I would know if it's close to it or not, but uh, it's pretty good. So, uh, the, the sugar note that I was smelling was, um, toasted coconut or toasted sugar, caramelized sugar, caramelized sugar. So I've got it right here because there's so much on here. Uh, a blast of toasted, sh I said it again. I can't even read. Uh, oh, well, cause it is there. Okay. Let me just read this. So you get it right. A blast of toasted caramelized sugar, both toasted and caramelized, uh, cedar, Warm taco bean, uh, patchouli licorice, lavender, heliotrope, coriander. Bottom notes of Italian bergamot and mandarin, uh, star anise, and fresh ginger. So there's a whole lot going on in here. Uh, there's no way I'm going to smell most of those notes. You definitely get the sugar at the onset of it. Um, but this lasted all day on me yesterday. Um, I would say a good eight hours um, that I had some projection and could smell basically the whole, the whole thing. I would say after eight hours, it started to taper off and I wasn't getting the full effect of it. Um, but I still smelled bits and pieces of it when I was, uh, getting ready for di dinner and bedtime and stuff like that. Uh, so today I'm going to try another one. It's called black tie. Uh, so there's not as many notes in this one. This one is uh, black peppercorn, leather woods, patchouli, musk, and citrus. Um, so this one has a little bit of that cologne vibe. Um, there's I see I smell warm notes and I smell bright notes in there. Um, So initially, this is not something that would be a favorite of mine. It just it has that cologne feel, which some people like, some people don't. Um, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day, um, and I'll give you some final thoughts about that tomorrow. Um, the blue sugar one I did enjoy. Uh, it was a little bit on the sweet side uh, with the sugar being the high note, but um, I did enjoy it uh, throughout the day. So I think that's something that I would continue to wear. Uh, so we'll try out the black tie and see how that goes. Uh, one more final thing. Um, this 
Uh, if you haven't seen this before, uh, posted about it a couple shaves ago. Uh, found this while I was walking around in the park one day. Um, it's broken off of something, but when I looked down, it just looked like a razor. Um, it looked like a uh, injector razor, like a PAL or a Persona or something like that. Um, very similar looking to one of those razors, actually. Um, but this is obviously broken off of something. And I want to hear your thoughts on what you think this might be. Uh, been a few guesses so far. Somebody was mm, kind of in the right realm, but not really. Um, so a few more uh, days to guess. And on Friday Shave, I'll reveal uh, what that actually came off of. Um, so hope you enjoyed today's talk and quick shave. Um, join us on the, uh, the forums at www.theshavingcadre.com. I'm Spider and we'll see you guys around.